I am also of the belief that all lit- all written word should be allowed to exist. No human thought should be inhibited. Having said that, there's a responsibility that that comes with these things and just finding that balance is not always the easiest thing to do, but it's not always the hardest either. What I don't understand is why don't we as a society show by our actions that we repudiate certain material? It's not up to my, it's not up to Hitler or whoever not to write Mein Kampf. It's up to us to not allow Hitlers to get to the stage. Why do we keep making psychopaths, immoral, unethical, dumb, insidious people successful, rich, and famous, and then give them power to do things to us? The logic is inconsistent, if mm. not deadly at best. The same people waving to the queen are the same people walking in Black Lives Matter. You kidding me? <laughs> this whole planet's schizophrenic. It is one big mental institute. We're all running around like little patients thinking our reality is the real one. No, it's not. Because there's no reason that that man shouldn't be humiliated and, and not able to, to show his face anywhere for stealing from the poorest of the poor mm-hmm. in the poorest state in the entire country. Thank you. Thank you. It's the poorest state of the entire country. If you are on welfare in Mississippi, you are poor, poor. Literally dirt poor. It's shameful. And I don't understand why as a society we've accepted this. Yeah. But I, I think Brett Favre's out here making excuses and people are going to make excuses for him. And it's just going to turn into a culture war thing where certain people are just going to support Brett Favre because Brett Favre supported Trump. And, you know, the media is lying about him and he didn't do those horrible things. It's easier for people, especially if you're poor and you're white and you like football and you're in Mississippi and Brett Favre is your hero, it's easier just to believe that the media, the woke media, the leftist media is just making up things about Brett Favre. It's shameful. You know, this is a country that claims to be Christian. This is a a country that claims to have values. This is a country that, that claims to have some type of moral high ground over other countries. And you're telling me we can't agree on the fact that all the citizens in this country should have water? We can't agree that Every person in this country should have at least the very basic means. The fact that all of us can even walk past one homeless person is proof of our sickness, let alone millions. Mm. The fact that we can walk past one child in foster care, don't tell me we love one another. Don't tell me you're a Christian, you're a Muslim, you're this. You're not anything. You just like talking about it. Seriously. How come all the pro-lifers aren't lined up at the orphanage? The orphanages should be empty if people are as Christian and as religious as they say they are and as spiritual as they say they are. You'll empty a shelter, a a, a cat and dog shelter before you empty an orphanage. Oh, yeah. I've heard that um, because we don't even have enough orphanages that foster care kids and and kids that otherwise would be in orphanages, some of them are getting put in juvenile hall. That's shameful. That's shameful. Why is that acceptable? Why is it the only time anybody cares about anything is that when it happens to them or their child and then all of a sudden they're they're ringing the bell that everybody should care? Well, you didn't give a shit about anybody else. Why do we always only find empathy after something happens to us? We don't all know that, that what that man did and his co-conspirators is wrong. We don't all collectively agree that stealing from the poorest of the poor of the poor is wrong. We can't agree on that. Mm-hmm. Then we can't agree on anything. And who are we kidding then? That we can't agree on anything. Yeah. I mean, there are people, you know, if, if Donald Trump says says the sky is not blue, the sky is actually green, they, certain people are going to be like, you're doggone right. The sky is green. Trump said so. I, I don't know what to tell you. Although his his luster is starting to dull, it was a pretty lackluster Trump announcement for a presidential run, don't you think? That's None of his family was there. there. That's because the media didn't cover it as much because Rupert Murdoch has already told Fox News it's okay to switch up on Trump. Here's the thing. Oh, my God. Switch up is an understatement. Do you know that on one of the newspapers, literally, they posted it at the bottom of the cover of the newspaper in a banner, not even an inch high. And all it says is Florida man launches presidential candidate. Oh, my God. Talk about shade. 
Florida man launches presidential campaign. You're a footnote. They want DeSantis. They, they're making it very, very clear they want DeSantis. But guess what? If Tr- Trump is a narcissist, he he's an attention whore. He can't stand the idea of DeSantis not coming to him and kissing the ring. And he can't stand the idea of DeSantis being more popular than him. And guess what? MAGA is a cult. And I don't think they should be underestimated. They're not done yet. No. They're, they're I mean, still these people were just climbing a building, you know, less than a year ago. Let, let's not start getting too excited. Yeah, this is not some small cult. The, these, This is not some fringe ideology. This is the overwhelming majority of the Republican base. This is about 30% of, of people who actually show up and vote. They will vote for Trump regardless. They will show up if he's on the ballot. And if he tells them, hey, F Ron DeSantis, vote for me, they will. I don't know if Ron DeSantis actually can win enough states in a primary to beat Trump. Don't underestimate yeah, because him. Can he woo moderates is the question. Yeah, DeSantis isn't very moderate, right? So, <laughs> right, he's not very moderate, and he's not as charming as Trump. He's not as funny. He's smarter, and he's, he's clever. Like, he's trying to be like Trump, though, too. Like he's trying to be a tough guy. Look how cruel I can be to the immigrants right. and put them all on a right. bus and sent the, lied to them, told them there were jobs waiting for them, and then sent them up to up north. And I guarantee you, he's a Christian. Of course, yes, a big Christian, big Christian. So it's it's ridiculous. It, it's a cult. And, you know, back to Brett Favre, that cult is going to support Brett Favre un, under the same kind of cult-like circumstances. They have a cult-like reverence for Brett Favre. That's their hero. And Brett Favre likes Trump. I like Trump. Brett Favre is great at football. I like football. Brett Favre's white. I'm white. I don't think Brett Favre can do any wrong. Well, that's sad. And I, and I think to myself, imagine... If LeBron James was involved in something like this, they'd be dragging that man up and down the street like he murdered 20 people. And and it's shameful because this guy theoretically could have economically the, the, the people who needed that money and didn't get it. I mean, imagine the impact of that on people who are already struggling with with poverty. Poverty is different from being broke. It's very true. You know, and it's hard for us to understand it as Americans because most of us are not exposed or around extreme poverty. Yeah, you'll see a homeless person on the street here and there, or even homeless areas, but you're not really exposed to extreme poverty. And when you see it, it's jarring. Especially Southern level. I was just going to say Southern poverty is unlike, it's almost as bad as a Native American reservation. Yeah, some of these folks have outhouses. Uh, That whole thing, uh, that 60 minutes. Unfunded reservation. Just, just, their outhouses, Mm-hmm. You know, people are literally, there's no indoor plumbing. There's a lack mm-hmm. of access to water. You know, the worst performing schools. Yeah. The no capital resources. of Mississippi has 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 had like a years long water issue that results yeah. in not having water at the end of the summer. And they just now had a, had uh, uh, the, the water issue of, of lack of water uh, show up again. Deion Sanders is the only one talking about it. That's how I know about it. Right. It's ridiculous that the capital of this state doesn't have water. Shameful. And this this country has the nerve to say that it, it believes in God and loves God. It's like this country wouldn't know God if God came down and slapped them right across the face and said, hey, I, it's me, God. They still it, they wouldn't believe it. Oh, if Jesus you. came down. We'd kill him again. Well, they have their God. It's Trump. And money. Mm-hmm. Exactly. On this episode of Raw Food. <laughs>